Ah, yeah, shit, it's Richard. You should get it. Hey, Richard, what's going on? Yeah, I know, but I, I mean, fuck that bitch. She ain't worth it. Mark. Yeah, I know you're depressed, but look, why don't you just take a couple sleeping pills, drink a bottle of wine, call me in the morning. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of busy. Yo, Tommy, man! Yeah. Until they cut back in the stops in our neighborhood. Yeah, whoa, look at this. Look what else I found. Shit, the schedule. Yeah, 1996. Look how much the fare was back then. A dollar twenty-five. Yeah, it's fucking crazy, right? That's when they started using that fucking Metro card, that plastic bullshit. Hey, I still have some tokens, man. You can never forget those things. You got tokens still? How old are you, man? I'm like fine wine. They get better with age. Yeah, I doubt it. But you want some, you want some death in the can? No, nah, that's okay. I have enough death in me. I meant to. Well, you didn't explain it, Paul. I guess um, things just started happening and life, life changed. Things only changed when we let them. I should have called you, wrote something. Don't worry, Paul. I understand. It's not that I didn't want to. I just... I wouldn't know what to say. I don't understand. You were my best friend and then one day you were gone. I did what I had to do. I fought on my heart. I wanted to protect my country. I couldn't understand that at the time. These last few years have made me doubt my decision too. What do you mean? I don't know what I'm there for anymore. The meaning is lost somewhere. Hey. You're back now, and we're still friends, and let's just forget about that stuff. I try to forget it, but sometimes it's all I think about during my long days. Decisions we make often become tomorrow's question. Tomorrow's question. And what the hell are you doing? I'm taking a selfie to Instagram to my followers. That's Sarah. I don't normally allow on phones and picture taking. It's very disturbing when you do that. Uh, but doctor, you did say we shouldn't put each other down for something that they do, especially if they don't feel the same way about it. Glad to see you listening, Laura. Uh, word for word, copy it down right here on page four of today's coverage. Alrighty, what I would like to say, and what I need to say also, is that... No, you can't what's that? Oh, it's not taken! Please! Please, my dear! tell you this, but I don't like to stop. Feel some inspiration coming on. Add some lyrics. I think your secretary inspired me. Or maybe it was that outfit she had on. God damn those legs. I do not approve of interruptions. <laughs> I'm not totally agreeing with you. I feel the same way, old chap. Well, please have a seat, old chap. You know, some things never change. Always the first to the place, nothing to say, nothing to do. You know, why don't I be feeling that tonight? Tonight's going to be a really, really long night. Holy shit. Didn't I leave you in that same place ten years ago? No, Mark. Um, I think I was sitting in the other corner back then. How the hell are you? Good. What good. have you been up to? Not much. Uh, the last couple of years I've been working on some writing. What? But Laura... Also, I need my key back. What? Key? Yes, hurry. What do you mean? Danny, don't start instigating some shit where nothing exists. And what about you? What about me? Bobby is your man. Stand by him. And why are you so quick to shut down us helping him out anyway? What's up? What was that on the phone? Oh, that was Marissa. She works at the club, too. Marissa? Yeah. She's talking about you look good. Yo, I've been trying to get that shit for a while now, man. You know? Wendy. What? 
Uh, I'm pretty sure Wendy would love to hear that. Hey, hey, I'm gonna like tires. You want ways you need to spare. Right. Come on, man. Shut up. <laughs> Yo, look, all right, let's do this. Well, look at you. Not all dressed up today. We ordered you a coffee. There's an extra shot of something in here. What happened to you? Didn't get the job? Yeah, they gave it to someone else. Seems like you two are in the same boat. He misses out on the movie role. He missed out on the job. You know, I thought for sure I had it. And there was this beautiful woman there too, waiting. There's always a woman. Yeah, that's right. Larry, did you go in first or did you go in second? Uh, second. Okay, then there you go. That's, you know why you didn't get it. You went in second. Wait a second, you just said I didn't get the job because I went first. What, yeah, and you said I didn't get the job because I went second. Yeah. Well, come on, explain how we are correct. It's easy. So, Felix, for example, you were supposed to go in second, but you let a woman, a beautiful woman, talk you into going first. Right. Right. And why'd you do that, Felix? She said go ahead and... Aha! Again! He fell for the wing shit again! Okay. You said I went second, remember? So how does your logic... How does your logic apply here? Okay, it's simple. You went second. Did, did a woman go ahead of you? Yeah, she was scheduled. Okay, and who was doing the interview? A woman. Okay, even better then. You should have just packed up your things and went home, saved yourself some time. You should have known you weren't going to get the job if a boss is a woman, and she's a woman, and you're, well, kind of a man. Okay, you know what? Right here. <laughs> the job is not about gender, it's about qualifications. Okay. Oh, come on, though. No. Now we're talking. Uh, first off, I'm not sleeping with anyone or taking off my clothes. <laughs> Unless it's for Steven and he writes me a spin-off. You would sell yourself off for a TV show. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, you sleep with your guy and he buys you shit. Same thing. Okay, you bitch! Oh, shit. She's gonna walk in here and then be like, oh, you guys haven't left this spot for five years. <laughs> Shit, we haven't changed much, have Speak we? Speak for yourself, right? <laughs> we have, just not for the better. Oh, come on. I don't even want to hear this shit anymore, right? It's fucking depressing and shit. What? Nothing. What are you looking at? You weren't expecting me today? Oh, no, we were. We were. Why are you just expecting you now? Are you alright? Shut up, Bobby. Stop treating me like a kid who can't get around for herself, alright? I'm sorry. I know. Jamie's coming today. Why? 
Did somebody else die? Yo, shit, this bitch is crazy, yo. Like, insane as shit. Don't call me a bitch, all right? I'll fucking kill you, Danny. Sophia, please. It's nothing. You know Danny. Yeah, I know Danny. I know everyone. So stop treating me like a kid. He's gonna love coming back to this. You know, I bet you Mitch is thinking right now, thank God I'm dead, because I don't want to deal with this bullshit. Shut the fuck up! Oh, all of you just shut up, okay? I'm fine. I'm not drunk, and I can see straight. All right, all right. What's going on, guys? There you go. Any photos, he's pissed off at the world. You know what, you know, you all too can leave. This technically is my place. Uh, actually, it isn't, right? Fuck you, you know what I mean, all right? Uh, what's going on, man? I mean, like, why is he so upset? Because a man that wanted me to do some looking around for him, simple. Well, what's wrong with that? I mean, you do need a job. Mm -hmm. Come on, would you guys cut it with the lectures, all right? I know I can't keep depending on Amanda, all right? You know, and I know my pictures suck, and I can't find a job, and I can't come up with new ideas to write. Am I forgetting something? I don't know, new wardrobe, maybe that. Yeah. <laughs> you, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I can crack the two of y'all up. <laughs> Look, man, I know exactly what you need. We talked about it two weeks ago at dinner, remember? What? Hey, dude, broke up. Man. I know, move the fuck on! Time for a new field to play on, right? A new field to play on, that's an interesting way to put it. Oh, no, 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 we're serious. Nothing like a new woman in your life, you know, to, uh, jumpstart other things. Hey, uh, Joey, let me get two beers. Hey, Joey, anything to go? Fuck you. You guys haven't changed one bit, have you? Still the same after all these years. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we had uh, some big nights out. Lots of good times. Hot uh, women, good booze. Well, times change. It's like they say, good things never last, right? Yeah, I guess. That's very good of you. Is that what you want to do? I mean, it doesn't matter. Why? This is the center we're all going to do what our parents want us to do anyway. I'm just doing it now. It's not the way it works, can't you? Life is a one-time thing. Don't waste it. Yo, honestly, shouldn't you be having one of these deep conversations with Michael? Because apparently you didn't have time for me, so... I was having time for all my Well, students. you could have reached out. <laughs> you almost put up a wall, Andrew. you? And you... Oh, no, no, you were supposed to bring it down! Andrew! What? there's something you don't want to do, then don't. I'm sure you can speak to your father, let him know you want to do something else. I can't just talk to him like that, okay? It doesn't work that way. That's right. Wine usually helps me think, but then again, so does a sexy blonde. Hi. Wine usually goes straight <laughs> to my head, and then I just lose control. Aha! Uh -huh. Get some of that. Oh, oh, God. Calm you. yourself. You know, my dear, you have a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. He needs this. It's on the house. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? I think we should go get a writer on inspiration for the captain. A little pleasure and pain. Danger and seduction. Mystery and sensuality. <laughs> we might need this, too. Just in case he doesn't see things our way. <laughs> Hi, I hope you don't mind. Why would I mind? <laughs> I'm Charity and this is... Oh, and I'm Desire, and we just wanted to come over and say... Yeah, well, that was very nice of you for you to do that. I'm just here uh, writing down some ideas. So, do you want to talk about it, Kevin? It might help the situation. Same old Mr. D. You never change, do you? Always trying to get us to spill our guts to you. It worked. Then, but not now. <laughs> you have enough then. I'm going to get you diabetes. <laughs> I like it sweet, all right? Get off my goddamn case. <laughs> Thank you, I'm sweet enough. <laughs> <laughs> My wife tells me that. I'm sure she did. Uh, it's no, uh, no! Miguel, no one should be going. But you guys should be adults and put it aside to be in a room together for one night. Tell him that! See what I mean? Blaze me for everything! It's well deserved! Well, guess who said it? 
anything you have to say. Whatever. Yo, Kevin, I'm, I'm out of here, man. Look, I'm really tired of this fucking martyr shit. You always run that same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, Miguel, go, go. Seriously. Dude, worst case, he says no, and then you can spend July while they're fucking done it. Okay, come on, don't fight. Yeah, Craig, you're the last person to call anyone. Wow. Oh, oh, hey, Mark, uh, how about... Uh, <laughs> 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 I thought I told you to talk to you about next week. Dude, you do that? Yeah. yeah. You know, um, the way you sound right now, um, I think he's going to listen to me more than you. Nice. <laughs> 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 All right, sure. Why, why don't we have a toast? Yeah. Sure. To Diana for having the big old balls to come over here when Mark doesn't have any balls to go over to talk to you. That's kind of an odd toast. Yeah, uh, Jonathan, I don't think Nancy wants to toast to having balls. Yeah, and I'm, I'm Diana. Diana! Diana. Uh, exactly! Uh, uh, drink uh, it! Why don't you stop drinking? Yeah, and you know what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I balls. resent all this because I do have balls. Guys! Okay? Yeah, 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 I do. Hey there. Oh, can we just change the subject? I'm getting a little uncomfortable with all this balls talk. All right, no balls. So how about those things in badminton? You know, I don't think she liked you from day one. You know, you never think any of the girls like me. See, because now you're the one that's fucked up in the head. Because you meet them, you take them out, you spend all this money on them, and they're like, you know what? Yeah, he's a nice guy. He's he's nice enough for now till I find someone new. The only reason I'm telling you this is because you're a friend of mine. How many drinks are you gonna have tonight? I thought you were cutting down. <sighs> yeah, well, it was a tough day at work, you know. Yes. Yeah. So, I hear that Eddie's going to start working the street club. Oh, I'm sure he'll be having a lot of late nights. Don't even go there, okay? Don't make me put you in your place. Just saying the obvious. Shut the fuck up. All those hot girls, nothing on. I love the place. It's really a night catch. Can I just right? tell you to shut the fuck up? It hurts at times. Not as much as me hitting you upside the head. All right, bitch. What the fuck? Why are you walking away? Look, hey, look, hey! Is there a problem here? No. Not at all. Well, good, because I don't tolerate that shit in my club. I was just leaving anyway. Oh, are you sure you can't stay for a while, sweetheart? I'm positive. Suit yourself. I understand Eddie's gonna be working late tonight. <laughs> now, what did I tell you about coming in here and starting trouble? I didn't say a word, she got in my face. Okay, just remember for the next time, I might not be so understanding. Okay! okay. Something. What is that? 
Hot dogs. <laughs> one with mustard for the lady, one with ketchup. Oh, oh see, he knows. I can't believe you gave into her craziness. I, well, the show's better to compromise and keep on fighting. It was never a fight with us. He just doesn't get it. Neither did I. There comes a time when you need to let things go. You know what I mean? I guess, but ketchup? <laughs> Shut up and listen to the man. <laughs> mm. These hot dogs are good. I heard them better than yesterday. Yeah, they are pretty good. You don't want to try mine? Are you kidding? That has ketchup on it. Just try it. No, it's not natural. I mean, look, ketchup belongs on like a burger. Hey, okay, you're on number two to one. Come I, on. I don't care. What's here? What was that? It sounds like it came from your bedroom, Haley. Can't be anyone in there, though. She isn't getting any action. You know what, Madison? I don't really want you to live through this. It really is a car. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. It really is coming from your bedroom. Incredible. Who knew? Hello? Is anyone here? Who is it? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> I am Vinny Bacardi. I'd love it to see a room full of ladies, though I'm used to that, baby. <laughs> Who are you? Vinny Bacardi, didn't you hear him? Yes, but who is Vinny Bacardi? Back in the day, I was a top chart selling musician, album selling all over the world, especially in Istanbul. Where is that? Far away from here, baby doll, far away from here. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Picardi. Uh, call me Vinny, sweet cheeks. <laughs> okay, Vinny. Um, how the hell did you get into my apartment? You just saying that now? That's the only one uh, that's the one that got that grade change for you. Hey, a C plus is light here is better than a C minus. And you don't have to go to summer school. That's the only reason why he's happy. Exactly, uh -huh. now I can enjoy summer, and hopefully we really enjoy summer. <laughs> Oh, she's not feeling you, okay? Can we cut this bullshit already? Andrew's right. We're living in a fantasy world. She digs me. It's so obvious. Here we go. Why do you think she's digging you? The swag. I got swag. Whoa, please. Are you even comparing yourself to me? Both of you guys are crazy. She wants me. I can sense it. How? This is a little thing she does. I mean, I, I swear to God, she winked at me. What? She blinked. Oh, my. Everyone does it. You just have to be the one she was looking at when it happened. Uh-uh, it was a wink. Plus it's longer, you know? Plus you gave me with this whole, I want to fuck you. I mean, that's so <laughs> Oh, this is, this is crazy. That never happened. So what you calling me a liar? Andrew, she didn't say, oh, I want to fuck you with a wing. Uh -huh. She probably had something in her eye. Yeah, me. I guess we'll see what happens Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I don't want to work in the strip club anymore. Ooh, what's the matter? Eyes wandering too much? It's not a problem with me around. I just, I don't want him in the middle of that shit anymore. Look, Eddie's a big boy, right? If he didn't want to work in the strip club, he could come here and tell me himself. You know he'll never do that. He does everything you tell him to. Then what do you want from me? Let us leave. Oh, fuck. I'm not keeping you here. Of course you are. Eddie lives and breathes for you. Look, you know what? If you've got issues with your man, then you work them out. If you want to leave, you want to move on, more power to you, sweetheart. You are so full of shit. You would never just let us leave. You know what? This fucking conversation is boring me. Though I love looking at you, I can't stand when I'm fucking here. And you know what? Do me a favor and take a fucking walk, okay? You're a bastard, you know that? Something is going to happen to you. I promise that. Hello? It's such a turn on to hear you talk to me like that. Don't you ever, don't you ever talk to me like that again. I swear to God, they're not going to be able to find your body. Threaten you to kill me. It's like any way you like it, sweetheart. I will take to the grave solving this case. And you, you will never have closure. Even if they find the monster that took my Diana, there will never be closure. Her death is like an open wound that will never heal. And no matter how much time passes, it will never heal. I wanted to find an answer. I hope you know that. 
this, this has never happened before. I, I was always able to find the monsters. So, uh, they're going to make the decision on the promotion tomorrow, and uh, I'm sure your relationship is going to go back to the way it was before all of this started. <laughs> I don't know about that. Especially if he does something he's going to regret. It's David. Don't you want to get that? Not at all. <laughs> Maybe we should get out of here and see if anyone's got any ideas. I agree. <laughs> Not a good idea. I mean, what if she says no? Oh, come on, why do you gotta think of it? things like that? Because it's possible. She might say no, and then how you gonna feel about it? I'll get over it. You know what? That's bullshit, man. I've known you for a long time now, and if she turns you down, you're gonna go in this whole drama mode. You're gonna blame everyone around you for it, and then you're gonna blame yourself too. I'm not going through this fucking soap opera with you anymore. Maybe some weather. They see my way. It's nice out. Sometimes nice isn't a good thing. <laughs> Let me guess, you're drunk already. None of your business. It is my business because I don't need you trying to push up on this later today. You'll be the best you've ever had. Yeah, alright. Chelsea, just cut this image, alright? Stop being surprised when guys want me to play dumb on you to get up there. There's a word for that. I should throw my drink in the face. You know it. Then go ahead. I like it. How did you get it? Don't play. Go have your drink and cut me some new jack with straws in. I don't have time. Your loss. Dream about me. They all do. Um, if you're headed for the train, I can walk with you. No, I'm probably just going to grab a cab. But tomorrow, maybe I can get the coffee. Deal. It's such a beautiful day. I don't think I could have asked for anything more than this. It has been a beautiful few days coming here. That was everything I thought it would be. Oh. Did you get any new ideas for your story? Yeah, it's funny, but I was kind of stuck on things till that man showed up. And uh, we started talking about the Trade Center. And he was telling me about his wife. Well, you always said inspiration came from many places. Yeah, true. Certainly did come from a place I never expected. Glad I ran into him. Do you think he'll be here today? Yeah, I think so. Well, even if he doesn't show up, I think he gave you a lot of help with that story. Yeah, he did. Um, but, you know, I feel that if I meet his wife, I'm just, I'm just going to learn so much more than I need this story. <coughs> Deep in your heart and into your soul, through every pore of your body, it goes. Do you never write anything for me? I never had a reason to. What's wrong? Don't I inspire you? comfortable being here. And speak on why you're here. Maybe you'd feel more comfortable. You know, I'm sure people just have a personal connection to the story and I want to talk about it. 
Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. No, 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 no! Oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is exactly what we should all be doing right now. Yeah. I'm not crazy. I just... I'm fine. I'm fine! Okay. This is a beautiful moment. But let's stop the reflection here, Victor. She wasn't wrong, was she? She knew that there was something wrong and that it was you. Yes. You had a secret problem. You're drinking, you're womanizing. Oh, but you, you were so good to preach about the one and the one being all that you need, but you can never practice what you preach. One was never enough. You can never have one drink, and you sure as hell could not have one woman. No, no, you made me miss my bus! that she can help tell the story better. So uh, being the wonderful, great guy that, anyway, that I am, I am gonna let her give it a chance. If she can do it, I doubt she can. Yeah, maybe because you became a loner and you built up these fucking walls and you turned us into enemies to you, huh? I know what I did, right? And I needed to do it. I needed to leave and find out who the fuck I was and who the fuck I was gonna be. Sophia did the same thing! Only she crashed into the wall and had nobody there to help her. Yeah, I'm sorry, right? Telling her that, not us. I think she's beyond that. How do you get through to somebody like that? Hey, look, don't let this get to you, all right? I mean, that's what Mitch did. Sophia's coming today. Ready to bust out the bullshit. Hey, that ain't funny, Danny. What, you got feelings now? You never cared before. Well, JD's coming here today. I don't want him to see her like this. What's the big deal? Yeah, Bobby, I mean, come on, we can't perform a meal. We don't have to clean this over in a few hours. Let's be real about this. He's gonna walk in, he's gonna see her. So let him fucking Fuck, I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about her. Damn you two. She's been through a lot. She respected J JD, thought a lot about him. I don't want her to be seen this way. Yeah, so put her in the closet with the rooms. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you're getting upset with us. I mean, it's her issue. I've been down this road with her before, and she can't quit. You gotta let it go. I need a drink. Hey, no joke intended. Hey, and you should be doing that while she's I'm here. I'm fucking thirsty, Bobby. You gotta Damn it, Danny. I was thinking about yourself. Shut up the both of you, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Look, you want to get out of here? What's that girl you were talking to before? The one you got the drink for? She used to come in here every now and then. A bit mysterious, confusing, you could say. It's very pretty. Yes, but before you asked me, no, we didn't. I barely even spoke to her when she came in. She was seeing someone here on and off, I guess, in a strange relationship. Then she stopped coming in, and now we just can't remember. I see. It seems you know quite a lot about their situation. It's a small club. Things get around really quick. Why did you know that? I don't know, and I didn't ask, but then again, you two spoke. Maybe you know. She's leaving today. It's amazing how time flew. She's probably packing up right now. I know. She called me. She said she appreciated the blessings we gave her going out there on her own. She's good like that. Then why are you acting like an asshole? Don't tell me about her leaving when you have options. Other people don't get options. Look, she wants to go when she's going. 
It's that simple. It wasn't that simple until you made her mind up for her. Tell me I'm wrong. You can't, because you know I'm right. I don't want her to go. Then tell her that. Don't tell me. You just piss me off, you know? I mean, but you know how that is when you don't defend them, then it's right. I don't have any brothers and sisters. I don't have that issue. But the streets, it's, it's tough coming up in this part of town. I guess, I guess that's what I meant. Paying attention to me. Just doing my own shit. Nobody bothered me. But. Right. Um, Alright, well, let me let me get out of here. Uh, once again, I'm sorry about the whole thing with your wife. These things have a way of working themselves out in the long run. Yeah. I'm sure they do. I'd like to, but I can't. I gotta keep an eye on the rest of the place. Some people try to sneak out without paying, and it comes out of my check. That sucks. Yeah. I'm gonna make enough money as it is, and to lose money is frustrating. But uh, let me not disturb you. I'll get you another coffee and espresso on me. Oh, are you looking for a show later? I heard they brought back the king and I. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> I thought I was younger. That's awesome. Um. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is you, and you know it, and you do it well. Do what? Being alone. You enjoy it. And you also enjoy the drama of breaking up. It's like, uh, it's like artwork for you. And what kind of talk is this? I mean, we're supposed to be friends, remember that? Yeah, and that's why I'm saying this to you. Look, you're alone because it fits you well. You can talk to me all about, you know, finding the perfect person and sharing time. But in reality, you don't want that. When it's near you, you just push it off. And when you choose it, it's always a bad choice. You can back up and become the victim. I know you, Jack. What kind of talk is this? I mean, I would expect this talk coming from your wife over there. I mean, you sound just like a woman giving the old cast-off speech. Because I'm right, Jack. How? It's like I always said. There's that perfect someone for everyone. For... So look, there was this chick at the bar with a big fat ass, and yet I'm sitting here talking to you. What the hell is that about? I don't know. What's the matter? Wife got you down again? Yeah, so she always... What, you still love her? Yeah, I guess in some ways I never did stop loving her, but things are different now. Yeah, of course they're different. But that's not your fault. She wants to lay all that shit at your door. Yeah, I guess. Well, there's gotta be something else that's bothering you. Is it Leo and the money? No, since when have I ever let that asshole bother me? So what is it then? It's Janie and everything that's happened. Hey. Don't forget, what's happened to her has happened to you, too. Or she got you thinking something else. Hey, there are other things in football to be thankful for. Yeah, I've got to agree with him on this one. I, for one, am thankful for that outfit that Summer has on tonight. Oh, look at those legs. Oh, man. Or should I say, oh, Lord. Louis, <laughs> you just talking to walls with these guys. These guys haven't grown up. But Jesus Christ, put some whipped cream on those legs. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that. Beauty is within us. That is what's important. Yeah, that is my goal too, to see the beauty inside of every woman. Uh, pinch my nipples and call me Judy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a reaction I get very often. Thank you, Amy. What do I want? If you want the ideas you are trying to see. Steal from us. But we don't let anyone steal from us. We protect that spot. Anyone who goes near it has to be taught a lesson. Oh, I think he's a little scared of us. <laughs> he should be. Oh, you know what? I'm getting kind of tired. This whole night is just worn yeah. out. <laughs> so, now what do we do? Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? We're not letting you go. Oh my gosh, what the hell are you doing? Uh, I thought you left. Didn't we have a deal? I had to come back because I knew you guys were up to something and just look, what did you do? Just calm down. He's okay. He's our guest. <laughs> guest? He's handcuffed to a chair. Oh, he wanted something kinky. We just thought we could give it to him. <laughs> oh, they're lying. Quiet! You have to let
let him go. I can't let you do this. Uh, just calm down. We're not gonna do anything. Trust us. Why should I trust you? You do this kind of stuff all the time. It's a game. We we need him for something. Please get some oh, Shut up. up. Okay, guys. Well, this has been really fun. <clears throat> I really gotta get to my job interview now, so my apologies for offending all your past idols and times. <laughs> She's <a> bow. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Was he another actor playing your ex? Or Actually, no. He did cheat on me. Which is one of the reasons why I took this gig. You see, I heard all about this little Whoa. cheater. So I posed as a guru granting wishes, put on something sexy, and he was easily fooled. We tricked him into coming over here to give him a wonderful surprise. Well, sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, dear. I just love it. <laughs> so no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh! No, I can't hear what I'm I am not breaking this up. Hold him down, girl! Let me get a few chops in! Oh, yeah.
you know? Some things just never change. At least you are wearing black again. I, I didn't know you were here. And I didn't know I was supposed to make an announcement every single time I entered the room. No, I was just thinking that I was alone again. Mentally. She's mentally calling me over. Yeah, okay, whatever you say. Don't hate. I'm not hate. I'm just wondering how all this is going to play out. Mm -hmm. It's going to play out the same way it always plays out. You're going to talk all this junk and so neither one of you are getting out and going over. Yeah, um, the mic is right. You guys are both. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, look who's talking. My dad being pushed to talk to Melissa. Uh -huh. And even then, who asked you out? Me. Case closed. Yeah. People, last out. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> is a freaking choreography necessary, right? All right, I'll shut up. But still, no one's getting nothing going over there. Right? That's uh, not funny. I mean, you have. I don't get drunk. I'm not good. And stop the games, okay? It's no game. She came in here tonight. Talk to her, spoke to her for a moment. Can't be. I'm not quite sure what you saw in her. Where is she? I think she left. You know, you know, I felt it tonight. You know, something was telling me that she was coming back tonight. Well, whatever you were feeling, you were right. Questions. No answers. Just an empty room. The struggling writer takes his own life in a hotel room alone. What a tragic story. This is Scotty Decker in California, and this is the beginning of Cloudy. <laughs> Trash! That's how I saw it up. Real! Fucking! Trash! Ooh. I, I guess we know where George stands. Yes. Hey, so I'm in? Yeah, absolutely. Great! Now I can post on my Facebook page. What? Just kidding! <laughs> How about when he comes back here, out here, I say, hey, April's fucking another guy, she's a slut, life goes on, and then close the window so he doesn't jump. Mark, you're so heartless. How am I heartless? She goes out, she finds someone new, she doesn't have the guts to come here and say to his face. Well, she struggled with this for a, for a while. She said that everything was always so serious with Richard. I mean, he was talking love after a week and she couldn't even get him to kiss her. All right, well, I don't know about all this Dr. Phil nonsense. All I came down here to do was drink, have some food. So let's save all this dra dramatic shit for some stage or something. So why else did you come out here for today? Hey, it was just for uh, inspiration. Well, yeah. Maybe no. You see, lately I, I haven't been going to my band rehearsals. I haven't really wanted to be there. Why? Maybe I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah, Scott, you're over the hill, you're something fucking longer. You're not old. Why would you say that? 
Just trying to keep up with the times. Gosh, don't. Just live your life. You know, stop worrying about what's trending, what's popular. Just go with your heart. Ugh, your soul and what you believe in. You know, you sound like you're going to have your own daytime talk show with that kind of advice. I mean, where did you pull that from? From where? I meant it. Now stop talking like an old man or I will beat the hell out of you. Drop it. No, I'm not going to drop this. You said the change came after I was born. You said the moment that were happy till I was born. I know you said this. All right, I said this, but it was an anger. There's truth in everything we say, even if lies. It was a moment of anger. Sometimes you say things you don't mean. You knew what you were saying, man. Did it ever occur to you how you were making me feel? You're my brother, and you blame me for that leaving. I was a fucking child. How can you do that? Ever think how you were making me feel? Trying to force me to make decisions that I knew were wrong, man. If we hit the lottery, we could just buy the school and load up ourselves. Why would we do that? Why wouldn't we just like buy it and then save it? <laughs> <laughs> Got your attention, didn't I? <laughs> Shut up. You know, I thought of something standing here. I'm actually right now staring at that building. What's that? It's a building, just a structure with glass doors and bricks. This right here, this is what we should cherish. Yeah, but Mr. D, come on, the memories, you know, the, the, the classrooms, the boards, the fucking AC that never worked. <laughs> <laughs> the cafeteria, the schoolyard, the courts, yeah. football team, baseball team, mm -hmm. basketball <laughs> <No more>. team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, we get it, Erica. <laughs> I get what you're saying, Mr. Vicente. It wasn't those things that made this place for fun. Right here. No one can take away what we're feeling right now. These common memories that we experience under that ceiling, and now it's being taken away. Now take it down! It's about time you woke up. What? Hey, what's the matter with you? Nothing. 